Hello viewers, this is Mr. Mazemir Girma from Developer Han and I am with a new guest today. This guest is Mr. Brian Liu from China and he will tell us about himself. Tell us. Hello everyone. My, na my name is Brian and from China. And, uh, the province Shanxi. So I uh, last year I just uh, graduate grad graduated from the, my university. My major is uh, construction management. So uh, because of money, I attend the uh, this construction company. So I I went to um, Sofia in last year August. So now I'm um, doing the project. Now I'm doing the project in Durham City. So we make uh, industrial park um, for the SOW. Very good. So now, can you tell me about your English language learning experience in China from lower grade up to university? Okay. We started the English learning uh, in my primary school and also the ele elementary school. Um, so in the grade three, I start my English. I memorized uh, my first class in English is about uh, three people. One people's uh, name is one people's name is Li Ming, and he's from China. And then the other the other people is a girl, and she's from Canada. And then there's also a dinosaur means Danny, Danny, Daniel. So uh, we learn. And the English uh, among among uh, the three the three guys, uh, we learn some dialogues, we learn some vocabulary. It's it's very useful. So when I was in the junior high school, uh, I I start to I started to learn some grammar and more advanced vocabulary. So. Um, we just learn the, the English for the exam, so we uh, never speak among ourselves, and we never uh, do some ex exercise uh, when after class. So uh, when I'm in the high school, um, I have more English classes. Maybe one week, um, one week we had five English English classes. So we just do some reading, and some grammar. So we just pre prepare for the university entrance exam. So after this, I entered the university. So. In university, uh, we also have the uh, English license, but it's the same. One week we just have uh, one or two English license. So the same, but uh, uh, in university we learn some listening, um, but never speaking. So just for the uh, English level, English, English level exam. So I, I do more hard in my English lessons. So I uh, pass the uh, level four and the level six in the Chinese English level. So after university, uh, my English class is un un ended. <laughs> Very good. Now you are here th that you are learning the English language because in Ethiopia mm. English is widely used mm. but your main objective is mm. uh, because you have plans in the future mm. to 
work in an English speaking country. Yeah. Mm. Can you tell us about that? Okay. Okay. So, um, when I came into Ethiopia, um, you know, my job is always uh, work. I always worked with uh, the Ethiopia people. I like our consultant, our employer. Um, they always speak English. Mm, so, um, so I think the English is widely in Ethiopia. And uh, this time, I I fall in love um, with the uh, English because I think the English is not just for the exam. It's for the it's for the daily use. I need to use the English to speaking, to writing, and to do some uh, good things, not just for the exam. So I think I need to. Uh, write my English uh, skills. Uh, so I I chose my teacher and to learn about my English and to improve my English levels to improve my English skills. Okay, let's give some uh, insight into the lesson about uh, to our uh, viewers. Mm. We had four lessons. Yeah, four lessons. Can you tell us about the first lesson we had here? The first lesson we had here is a uh, dictionary lesson. It's also named uh, vocabulary lessons. So uh, the teacher uh, taught me uh, how to learn the vocabulary by the dictionary. Because uh, before, I just uh, learned the uh, English word by Chinese. So this time, when I use a dictionary, English dictionary to uh, learn the English words, I think it's more interesting and more useful for me. Uh, how do you use the dictionary? Mm, when, when I'm reading, uh, when I'm, um, I'm speaking, when I make some difficulties words, so I look it into the dictionary and I, c I can find um, some the meaning, the different meaning of, of one word, and the, the example, and the example of the words. So I can learn more in diction. What about the next lesson? The second one. The second had. one is um, the second the second lesson is um, grammar. So the teacher. Taught me how to use the grammar book, and uh, uh, how important the grammar is. So I, um, before I learned the grammar in China, but I, when I first, I when I first saw the English grammar book, I think it's diff diff difficult. Because of many many words, I don't know many many words. So I think I need to uh, look 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 the new words in the dictionary, and then uh, I need to learn uh, more hard about the grammar. It can improve my speaking skills and my writing skills. Third lesson. The third lesson is speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, that time I with my friends. My friends um, uh, speaking the um, daily daily life with me. Um, so we talk about the, we talked about the um, developing environment. We talked about the, the food and the other things. And uh, after this, the teacher um, uh, correct our mistakes. And uh, uh, so, and uh, uh, finally, we um, we had some uh, English songs. We we learn English songs together. It's very interesting. And today's lesson, the fourth one. The fourth one. Today's lesson is about the writing. So, um, the teacher want me to. Um, 
want me to describe my hardship uh, by writing. So I chose my uh, university hardship um, about my major because I don't 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 like my don't like my major. So I cho chose this um, chose this, chose this um, uh, hardship. And I write a paragraph, and after this, um, the teacher correct um, my paragraph. And then he taught me um, how to write the English essay, uh, the skills. We'll just release your essay when it is ready. We'll release to the community. But I want you to tell the viewers about the solution you took in China when you found the lesson hard. Mm. Because when I'm in university, uh, I chose a major for the, of the construction management, but I don't like this uh, uh, this major because I chose this. I, I chose this. I chose um, the the major because of my mother. My mother is also an engineer, and so I think maybe in the future when I find find the job, maybe my my mother can help me. So. When I'm in, when I entered into the university, I think the construction is more hard to me, so I'm depressed. Uh, so after this, uh, I have many negative emotions around me. So I, I think I need to, I need to do 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 some things that make me happy and then I need to so I start uh, to do my own business the business what? The, my business is it's like the transportation of the food from the restaurant to our uh, students uh, dormitory so food delivery yeah? Uh, food delivery interesting uh, so we are done with the four lessons uh, additional things I want our viewers to learn or to know about you is just because we told them about language learning experience yeah mm. they may want to know about you about what you feel about Ethiopia can you tell me wh about what you feel about our country I think the Ethiopia is a very beautiful country It's uh, different from uh, the other African countries um, because it's very cold here. But it's um, even it's cold, uh, but it's, the the climate is um, very good. So uh, the, I think the Ethiopia is like like Ethiopia is like a pierced. Uh, in the Africa, so there are too many beautiful ladies here, and uh, mm, too many deli delicious food here, like chocolate dogs. Ah. <laughs> uh, like this. I, I, my favorite local food is uh, chocolate dogs here. Ah, interesting. Mm. Uh, what was your expectation when you were in China about Ethiopia? When I'm in China, I think the Ethiopia. Well, um, my memories uh, about uh, the Africa is also like uh, it's also about uh, um, Ethiopia. It's the same. It's also the hot weather, and uh, also it's, it's it's not too too many modern things here. But when I I came here, I found many. Beautiful sceneries, and many um, delicious food, um, and many also many rich men, and uh, also especially many beautiful ladies. Wow, interesting! <laughs> and did you find some hardship in Ethiopia? Was there any problem? I found some hardships in Ethiopia because. Um, 
when they uh, when they speak English, uh, they have some accents and uh, um, many areas they, they have uh, different air accents and they also have different language. Uh, but uh, um, many people can speak Amharic, but uh, some some people they in Mokley and uh, another another place they can speak Tigni. <laughs> so there are too many languages in Ethiopia. When you say their accent when they speak English, can you tell me an example? Like what do you find hard when Ethiopians um, speak English? I know. When they uh, speak problem, uh, some some people this problem oh. okay do you uh, know Amharic I know some Amharic tell me what you know about uh, uh, Gonju yes Gonju Gonju what does it mean it means beautiful okay uh, uh, salam no mm. it means hello yeah Anta means you. Ande means ho. Okay. And I, and I, and I also know a bad word. It's for dinga. Oh my god. It's, it's for stupid guess. Okay. And uh, Chinese. Can you tell our viewers some elementary Chinese? And I know Shishin. We say xie xie. Xie xie. Xie xie. What is it? Xie uh, xie. It means uh, thank you. Ni hao ma? Uh, how are you? Ni hao ma? Wo hen hao. Wo hen hao. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I heard that Shanghai means what does Shanghai mean? Uh, Shanghai means above the water. <laughs> above the, it is a town found above the water, yeah? <laughs> And what is dinner in Chinese? Dinner in Chinese it means wan fan. Wan fan. Wan fan. Oh, what is rice in Chinese? Rice, uh, mi. Mi. Mm -hmm. It's not fan. Da mi. Da mi. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is your future plan? My future plan is, I want to improve my English, and uh, uh, when I uh, reach my experience and uh, reach my skills, I want to go to the European countries to continue my master because I think uh, I like English so I, I need to go to the European countries uh, original uh, of the English What nationality do you think your wife will be if you have to marry in the future? <laughs> Maybe uh, my, mother, my mother and my father, my family and they don't want to me to marry with a foreigner uh, people. But, but, but I want to marry a foreign, foreigner girls because I like the difference uh, of the culture. I think we have many words to um, con con connect, many words to speak, many things to communication. One difficult question. What is the weakness, one, the most uh, common weakness of the Chinese people? I don't understand. Weakness, you know, weak, I, I know weakness. weakness. Do you think Chinese, for example, is it in relation to punctuality? Do they come on time for appointment? Or like, what is the Chinese people's weakness? The Chinese uh, people's weakness is um, is the Chinese always stay together. Uh, they don't like to uh, talk with uh, the the local people. Uh, they always when they do the project, they always stay together. So I think if like this, uh, 